Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today on another episode of Climbing Gym Network. I'm Mark Bloyd, and today I'm in Austin, Texas at Crux Climbing Center. So, uh, parking lot looks a little full, so we're going to go ahead and get on inside, and we will see you in there shortly and go from there. Well, this is embarrassing. Uh, so, I originally did a whole interview with... Uh, the CMO and CEO, this lovely lady here, Grace Nicholas, and uh, I forgot to plug in my microphone. Uh, that being said, I'm not sure the sound quality and video quality would have been uh, up to par really anyway. So I'm just going to go through and cover everything myself, and who knows, maybe this format will come in handy in the future. Um, I could see maybe there's possibility where uh, I can't get to a gym and uh, just need to get footage from them and then provide the information myself on my own instead of doing an interview. So let me know what you think about this format in the comments. And uh, if you really don't like it, man, I'll try to avoid making this mistake again in the future. All right. All right. Let's get on with it, shall we? So we're going to kick off our tour with the Rope Canyon. The Rope Canyon is basically in the back right corner, so you can get there by either going through the gear shop uh, or you can go around through the bouldering area, uh, especially if you need to go back and uh, put your stuff in a locker or something like that first. That'll probably be the route you take, but it's in the back right corner of the facility and you can't really miss it. It has 30 feet high walls, uh, features 27 anchors, 20 what, 21 of which can be set for lead anchors. Um, there's usually about 60 routes in this area at any given time and 18 of the anchors can be set as top rope or auto belay anchors. They have uh, five to six auto belays up at a time just depending on whether uh, one of them is sent off to be serviced or not at, um, at that point of the year. And last but not least, probably something that will surprise uh, most climbers out there and uh, and make a few of you extra happy is that in the rope climbing area here they also have a crack area so uh, anybody who's wanting to go that extra mile in their training uh, you can do that as well here so if rope climbing you know lead climbing auto belays that kind of stuff is what you're looking for when you're, when you're here in austin then this will be the facility for you this is the only one in the austin area currently that has this type of climbing So if you're like me and you prefer bouldering or it's just a way to uh, get uh, a more of a workout in or complete a workout after doing some rope climbing, then the gym also has around 120 routes available at all times for bouldering. Uh, they have the future wall, which we'll discuss, the corral across from that, and then in the uh, front corner, the bouldering cave. And I'll be covering all of those uh, shortly here for you. So we'll start off talking about the bouldering areas with the uh, future wall. The future wall uh, is kind of their pride and joy. It's a first of its kind and it articulates. So basically uh, the whole wall can be changed as far as the angles on it and the overhangs. And you can have a completely different wall from one year to the next. Uh, the wall itself goes basically the entire width of the climbing gym and is about 20 feet high at its highest points. The, um, the highest panels on there that you'll see when you're looking at the wall usually don't get holds on them except for maybe during the comps or just here and there uh, for a few uh, of the more difficult routes that people want to try. What they do is before their come and send it uh, competition comes along, they uh, come up with two options for how they're going to change the wall and they'll put that on their social media platforms and then let uh, the community decide what they would like to see for the next year and once that choice is made it takes about four days for them to set up this wall uh, when they're doing the changes and then they unveil it to the public and start setting the new routes uh, usually right away like I said for the competition and then after that uh, it's used for uh, you know normal climbing the rest of the year. So let's move on to the bouldering corral itself. This area probably offers the most variety in, in one area of the gym for climbing. Uh, on either side of it, it's set up for slab climbing. Then the rest of the, the bowl itself 
has all kinds of angles, uh, everything from almost cave-like to just some really nice steep angles and variations. And then you also have the top out on this whole area. The bouldering corral is uh, 17 feet high. And if you're like me, this is probably going to be one of the best areas to have an awesome game of add-on. So at this point, you're probably thinking to yourself, all right, I'm sold. This is the gym I want to climb at. But they still have one more trick up their sleeve, and that is the mother of all bouldering caves. Another thing is that at the more awesome membership level, which is only $10 more, you have 24-7 access to this area. And uh, if that's not enough, you can also plug in your own music while you're there and uh, select your own jams while you're climbing. So if you're a night owl or early morning riser or you have one of those jobs where you work during the day and you can't really get away and do things until the middle of the night, then uh, this may be an option for you. Again, just an extra $10 a month, you get a discount on gear and I believe it's also for things like admissions to the comps, that kind of stuff. So something to think about. And right after you checked in, you'll notice a set of stairs going up and that leads first of all to the lounge, which is a nice relaxing area to either wait for somebody that's uh, coming to join you in climbing or a uh, place to maybe relax and do some homework or just uh, replenish your energy uh, with maybe a snack or a drink from the gear shop down below uh, after a good uh, workout of climbing. From the lounge, you have a couple of options. Uh, first of which you'll probably notice the double doors that lead to the yoga studio. The yoga studio is a large second story room that has a beautiful floor to ceiling window that uh, is in the corner and overlooks the pond across the street. Uh, it's a very large, again, peaceful room that can be used for not only the yoga classes, but if you need to do some stretching on your own and uh, it's empty, you're allowed to go in there, of course, and, uh, and find some quiet time there if you need. And then one more option upstairs, uh, currently they have a large fitness area that includes the aerobics, uh, exercise bikes and treadmills, that sort of thing uh, when you first get in there. And then a large workout area, which is actually going to be uh, moving across the street or across the parking lot, uh, having its own space for doing your usual typical fitness uh, exercises, including having fitness classes over there. Uh, so what they're going to do with the space that's currently being used for that is make it all geared towards climbing. Uh, they already have a moon board, campus boards, and other climbing uh, training equipment there, but they're just going to make that more extensive for the climbers. So the last climbing area, and uh, you know this, this isn't going to be important for everybody, but it's definitely going to be uh, something that affects a lot of people at the gym, is the kids' climbing area. Uh, designed for climbers that are 12 and under. It's called the Pandemonium Room. And uh, it's great for birthday parties. It's great for, uh, you know, if you just, you got two people that come in and you got kids, uh, one of them can hang out in there with them. Uh, there's even an uh, auto belay in there uh, so the kids can climb a little bit higher. Uh, the walls aren't as tall as the rest of the area. Still, it's it's a nice way to keep uh, little ones out of the way while bigger people are uh, climbing in the main area. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, as many mishaps that way. So it's kind of nice when a gym uh, can, can squeeze something like this into the facility for everybody. One other thing that makes this gym pretty special, at least in my opinion, because I'm a dog lover or, or an animal lover, is that this gym is also dog friendly. So as long as you bring your friendly companion in on a leash and have somebody that can hold them at all times uh, they are more than welcome to come in and uh, as long as they behave and things go well they can stay in and uh, enjoy the facility with you and uh, I'm sure many of the other patrons would enjoy coming up and giving them a scratch behind the ear. Another fantastic area at Crux Climbing Center is their gear shop. They sell just about everything you can think of for your climbing needs, including chalk and clothing, shoes, rope, harnesses, all that good stuff. Uh, some of it is actually locally produced, and even some of the clothing items are from places like Europe, which make them a little bit more difficult to come by. So again, speaking about that uh, more awesome membership, you get that 15% discount on all items in the gear shop. So before you sign up and decide which uh, membership you want, you might want to walk around the gear shop and take a look first. 
And last but not least, if you need a place to hang out after you're done climbing and uh, just don't want to get back in your car and go somewhere with your friends, you can always hang out at Cosmic Coffee and Beer Garden, uh, the neighbors there at uh, Crux Climbing Center. And uh, you can tell they have a beautiful place outside to sit in the beer garden area with the food trucks and uh, indoor seating at the Cosmic Coffee. So basically, Crux Climbing Center can be your one stop for a good night out with your friends or even a date night uh, of climbing and then having some drinks afterwards, and maybe a little something to eat and refresh yourself. No need to hop in the car and drive somewhere else, uh, especially after you've been climbing and don't really feel like going someplace too fancy. What more can you ask for? All right, so again, thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications of future videos as they're posted, uh, hit the bell right afterwards. If this one was of particular interest to you, please hit the like button as well. And feel free to leave a comment. Let me know how I did on this video uh, and what you would like to see in future videos on gems like this. All right, thank you, and I'll see you on the next video.